Hey YouTubers, we're doing part two here on the phone Note 4 and the Note 4 8 uh, not sorry, the Note 9 8, uh, 4K we're going to basically um, put that here nice, I will correct that I will look again is the IP address ok? yes is it ok? 169 189 2 and the icon is reserved, we click connect and we get connected and established so we go here at the top read out the visa order alright and we activate it but first of all let me save this alright we save the FA as that we save the FA as that and then we save it as that Okay, and then what we try to do, we try to activate FA. Activating FA meaning that we're activating the vehicle profile. It's going to show up right here. Here's it right here. We can go here. We can go in expert mode. We can go here at VCM. We can go right here, master. We can go here, master. We can read out the I-step. And show that the I-step right here is 2015. The car was shipped out for July. Maybe it's a 2016 model here, but the I-level shipment is 1507. Software version 503. All right. All right. Um, we already saved the, um, the vehicle, the FA, so we read FP. All right, okay, back to file. And we can save the FA here. That's what the name we give it. And then um, we capture it also with the on-screen recorder. So that's going to go on YouTube. We save it as that. Okay. We remember the highest shipment is this 1507503. So we go back right here. The convert mode. We click on file calculating. We go right here. Let us see if we can read VCM. Okay, cool. Now we're going to save this. Yeah, we give it that name. It's the actual installation table that is inside the control module for all the control units in the car. So we give it that name and then we save it right here. Save. And then we go right here. Then we click complete flash to highlight this right here, I step shipment. To highlight this tab. We click on either this or we click here. But I'm gonna make a complete tell, so I go right here and I go to um, right here. This is I step shipment, right? Cool. And then what we do now, this is the latest I level target. Alright. So we choose that and we calculate uh, sol. But before I do that, I can go here. I can read out the actual coding data. Let me see if I can. I have to go, I want to read out the coding data and back them up for this car, just in case if something goes on on me. Okay, this is, uh, this is the, this right here is the old FEM body, this one is flooded right here. But nevertheless, we are able to communicate with it to read out the, uh, the control unit description model IDs, which are these things right here, these are the IDs. And we're going to write this coding file to the new FEM body, this one right here. Okay, we're going to do that. Alright, and this one, this gateway right here, it's supposed to have these bootloader files in it already. If not, then hopefully we write it to it. If the control model, this one, the new one, does not come in programming abort. Okay, so we can now see if we can calculate SOL. We go here and calculate SOL. We pause video and we wait. Okay, we're going to record the screen again. Okay, yeah, this file here in red, this is the red file that um, SVT SOL has calculated. This red file is going to be overwriting this one right here, okay? 
and then this one right here, red file here, soft ray flash is going to go right the blue one. The blue one represents the actual state of the file on the car. Okay. All right. And then only in the a, only in the gateway, in the FEM gateway, this red file right here will overwrite the blue one. Okay. All right. So we're going to try to save SVT. So, so we give it a name. I will call it SVT cell. That's it. All we got to do is just look for the, S, the IST that we saved earlier on and then we click on it and then we just change the extension from IST to SOL, okay? And then we just save it. Alright, cool. We're going to try to create a transaction list, okay? Alright, it tells us that three tall lines have been set to status not executable. Okay, we're gonna deal with some deletion here. Okay, these are the lines. This is the uh, this is the telecoms module. These are the telecoms module. Okay, you said these are missing SWEs, missing software unit. These files are not founded on the computer. These files right here. These control unit description model IDs. These are not founded. So I take a picture of that with my phone. I'm going to remove all of these from the transaction list later on. And that's it. We just give it save the transaction list on that. And then we um, we save it according to the VIN number. That's how I like to have my stuff organized. And I click save. Okay. And then I'm going to save. I'm going to create an order ID from SVT Actual. I'm going to create a stall for that as well, differently. And, and name it differently according to that. I'm going to click that. All right, I'm gonna save it now, all right? All right, now we're gonna call this one now. Let me pause it. All right, I, need, I, I, I create also a SOL, which I, I, I save one that has the original order ID from SVT Actual. So we call it that, and then we're gonna save it. We can choose each one, all right? No big deal. Also can create a tile of that also, okay? Okay. It has three lines, the same thing, the same thing, one warning, Taliban, okay, the ATM on address 61, this one, we're going to remove this from address 61 on the system, okay, okay, cool, so what we do now, we just, okay, okay. and then we save our tile now, and then we call this one by a different name, so we name that according to the, the soil we created, okay, Okay, cool. So we'll just save this right here. No problem. I am backing up the original NCD files in all control models in this folder right here. These are the NCD for all the, the control unit coding on the car. Alright. Okay, these ECUs are not responding right now. TMS is not responding. And um, TMS, TMS1, TMS2, well, and other same thing. Not responding. Okay. So we're gonna save that, that, that also. We disconnect from the car and we're going to now remove that old BDC and we're gonna put that one right there. To do this in part two, what we do now since we're at part two, we're gonna make part three because right now the video is about eight minutes and 30 seconds. We turn off terminal 15. Okay, we're gonna remove those things over there. Okay, YouTubers, so what we do now, we're gonna remove this one. Take that out. We we depress this stop right here. We sink it. We sink it and then brought this over it. Take that out. That's it. We pause the video for now and we wait. Okay, my YouTubers. Some of these connectors and I need light to see up there. But I'm gonna end this video right now and I'm gonna continue part three in the next round. Okay. So thank you for viewing and continuing for three. When I uh, remove this one here, I'm gonna put the new one. So I continue in for three when I'm gonna put up the new one and continue.